Hitman Paris, an introduction to a game with equal opportunity to be something great as much as a letdown. Hitman Paris is the first part of the new episodic Hitman series. You're introduced with the prelude that introduces the story in Agent 47. You're sent through a brief tutorial with a final test to let you play with your skills. Much like the past Hitman games, there are multiple ways to kill your targets. You can collect poison, add it to a food or drink, use explosives, mess with objects, and to get the various sections of a map, you of course have to steal disguises. This is where things get a little frustrating. Disguises will almost always give you away if you're too close to NPCs wearing the same outfits as you. Which makes sense since you would think they would recognize their co-workers, but the frustration comes in because in some locations only certain uniforms are allowed without you just getting shot at, which kind of defeats the purpose of a disguise. Either get shot at as soon as you trespass, or power walk from someone who finds you suspicious until they shoot you. You can't really turn this into a third person shooter like you could in Absolution, because three shots and you're dead. If you raise any suspicion at all, you're surrounded. This could maybe be fixed if they only become suspicious if you stick around for a while rather than just stay in their line of sight, which is another frustration. The first two maps are crawling with enemies. Everyone has someone watching them. You can't really tell if you're in someone's line of sight until it's too late. I'm actually almost 100% sure that you're in someone's line of sight at all times. Enemies for the most part just stand there, which leaves your stealth combat options practically useless. You're almost forced to use environmental opportunities. I felt handcuffed to trying to beat the game the way it wants me to, rather than feeling like I'm being dropped into an area with a few tools to do as I please. And when I say area, I mean area. You can buy the game up front for $60. Or buy the first part for $15 and every episode afterwards for $10. And for that initial $15, you get to create contracts to challenge the online community. Fair warning though, a crappy internet connection isn't going to cut it. Two story contract missions in a tutorial. That's right. Hitman Paris is one single mission. This game relies on replay value. The tutorial makes this clear by actually making you replay the tutorial map in a different way. And the trophies make this clear by asking you to try to complete all the different opportunities. This is what they want you to do. Take this one map and take out your target in as many ways as you can over and over and over. I will say though that the map is crawling with life. It is really cool to explore the massive event going on that is this Paris fashion show, and figuring out how you're going to pull off assassinating two targets and escaping without being killed yourself. Especially with how difficult and annoying the enemies in and around every corner can make it. You're up for a stealthy challenge here. While I personally don't find myself replaying the same map to change my approach over and over, or to even take out a different target, I can see how fans of the stealth genre could enjoy such a thing. I give Hitman Paris. A 7.5 out of 10. If you played Hitman Paris, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And tune in Monday for first impressions where you find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching. How exciting. If well, only I had What's that? Uh, excuse me, sir, but, uh, you know what's going on here?